Question 1. What is IDEA? Answer. IDEA International Data Encryption Algorithm is the second version of a block cipher designed and presented by Lai and Massey. It is a 64-bit iterative block cipher with a 128-bit key and 8 rounds. While the cipher is not feistal, decryption is carried out in the same manner as encryption once the decryption su keys have been calculated from the encryption su keys. The cipher structure was designed to be easily implemented in both software and hardware, and the security of IDEA relies on on the use of three incompatible types of arithmetic operations on 16-bit words. The speed of idea in software is similar to that of this. Question 2. What is the RC5? Answer. RC5 is a fast block cipher designed by Revist for RSA data security. It is a parameterized algorithm with a variable block size, a variable key size, and a variable number of rounds. The block size can be 32, 64, or 128 bits long. The number of rounds can range from 0 to 255. The key can range from 0 bits to 20, 48 bits in size. Such built-in variability provides flexibility in levels of security and efficiency. There are three routines in RC5, key expansion, encryption, and decryption. In the key expansion routine, the user-provided secret key is expanded to fill a key table whose size depends on the number of rounds. The key table is then used in both encryption and decryption. The encryption routine consists of three primitive operations, addition, bitwise exclusive or, and rotation. The exceptional simplicity of RC5 makes it easy to implement and analyze. Indeed, like RSA, RC5 can be written on the back of the envelope, except for key expansion. Question 3. 3. What is RC2? Answer. RC2 is a variable key size block cipher designed by Revist for RSA data security. RC stands for RONS code or Revist cipher. It is faster than this and is designed as a drop-in replacement for this. It can be made more secure or less secure than this against exhaustive key search by using appropriate key sizes. It has a block size of 64 bits and is about 2 to 3 times faster than this in software. The algorithm is confidential and proprietary to RSA data security. RC2 can be used in the same modes as this. Question 4. What are GDAS dish? Answer. GDAS was devised by Skal Muller Bichel to improve on the performance of this by defining a cipher based on this with a larger block size but without an increase in the amount of computation required. It was claimed that GDAS was as secure as this since the cipher was based on this. However, Baham and Shamir showed that GDAS with the recommended parameter sizes is easily broken and that any alterations of GDAS parameters that result in a cipher faster than this are less secure than this. Question 5. How does one use triple this in CBC mode? Answer. Until recently, the most significant use of triple this was for the encryption of single this keys, and there was really no need to consider how one might implement various block cipher modes when the block cipher in question is actually one derived from multiple encryption. However, as this nears the end of its useful lifetime, more thought is being given to an increasingly widespread use of triple this. Question 6. What is triple this? Answer. For some time it has been common practice to protect and transport a key for this encryption with triple days. This means that the plain text is, in effect, encrypted three times. There are, of course, a variety of ways of doing this. We will explore these ways below. See question 85 for a discussion of multiple encryption in general. A number of modes of triple encryption have been proposed. They see three, three days encryptions with three different keys. They say ray 3, 3 days operations in the sequence encrypt decrypt encrypt with three different keys. They see 2 and they say ray 2, same the previous formats except that the first and third operations use the same key. Attacks on two key triple days have been proposed by Merkel and Hellman, MH81, and Van Oshot and Wiener, VW91. But the data requirements of these attacks make them impractical. Question 7. What is this with independent subkeys? Answer. The DACE algorithm derives 1648-bit subkeys for use in each of the 16 rounds from the 56-bit secret key supplied by the user. It is interesting to consider the effect of using a 768-bit key divided into 1648-bit subkeys in place of the 16 related 48-bit keys that are generated by the key schedule in the DACE algorithm. Question 8. Is DACE a group? Answer. 
No, this is not a group. This issue was settled only after many years of speculation and circumstantial evidence and this result seems to imply that techniques such as triple encryption do in fact increase the security of this. Question 9. What are the alternatives to this? Answer. Over the years, various new block cipher algorithms have been designed as alternatives to this. One is feel, a cipher for which numerous attacks have been discovered. Idea is a cipher designed by Lai and Marcy that seems much more promising and two more recent designs are RC5 and Safer. In addition, the US government announced in 1993 an algorithm called Skipjack as part of its capstone project. Skipjack operates on 64-bit blocks of data, as does DACE, but uses 80-bit keys, as opposed to the 56-bit keys in DACE. However, the details of Skipjack are classified, so Skipjack is only available in hardware from government-authorized manufacturers. Question 10. Can this be exported from the United States? Answer. Export of DACE, either in hardware or software, is strictly regulated by the U.S. State Department and the NSA. The government rarely approves export of DACE, despite the fact that DACE is widely available overseas. Financial institutions and foreign subsidiaries of U.S. companies are exceptions. Question 11. Should one test for weak keys in DACE? Answer. Since there are 256 possible DACE keys the chance of picking a weak or semi-weak key at random is 2 to 52. As long as the user provided key is chosen entirely at random, they can be safely ignored when DACE is used for encryption. Despite this, some users prefer to test whether a key to be used for DACE encryption is in fact a weak key. Such a test will have no significant impact on the time required for encryption. Question 12. Has DACE been broken? Answer. No easy attack on this has been discovered. Despite the efforts of many researchers over many years, the obvious method of attack is brute force exhaustive search of the key space. This takes 255 steps on average. Early on it was suggested that a rich and powerful enemy could build a special purpose computer capable of breaking this by exhaustive search in a reasonable amount of time. Later, Hellman Haley showed a time memory trade-off that allows improvement over exhaustive search if memory space is plentiful. After an exhaustive pre-computation, these ideas fostered doubts about the security of this. There were also accusations that the NSA had intentionally weakened this. Despite these suspicions, no feasible way to break this faster than exhaustive search was discovered. The cost of a specialized computer to perform exhaustive search, requiring 3.5 hours on average, has been estimated by Wiener at $1 million.